Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are going to do a general read to see what your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts if you made it through, purple hearts if it resonates, green hearts you're working on it, yellow hearts you rock with me, got my six, I mean, I have my back because I have yours. We have passion, we have ease, and we have growth, and at the bottom of the deck, we have time. So you are doing things with ease when it comes to your passion. That is where growth is being seen, and only time will tell what this what the seeds you plant will uh, come, um, that what this, the only time will tell of what the seeds that you plant uh, will come to fruition. And so you're doing things with ease and following your passion. I'm going to pull from tarot, but then let's read this. So when it comes to passion, it says, light up your life by honoring your deepest desires. So that is what you're doing, going after your passions. You're doing it with ease. Um, I just watch. Okay, these might not be cherry blossoms, but I watched the cherry blossom parade the other day. Today, I allow life to be easy. So following your passions, knowing that everything is going to come to you by divine right, by divine timing, by divine right, and um, also with growth. Um, the growth is here. It says evolution starts when you leave your comfort zone, get uncomfortable with being uncomfortable. And so that is where the growth starts at, and only time will tell. Um, it says... Time spent worrying is time spent. So you cannot spend time worrying. You just go after your passions. You know, they always say if it's considered, uh, if it's if it's something that you're passionate about, it's not considered work. So maybe this might be a job. Maybe this might be uh, something that, a new endeavor that you're going after. But whatever it is, you're doing it with ease, and it's not taking a lot of stress out. And again, you're not going to spend time worrying like you have in the past. You're going to move forward. I'm going to pull from this tarot deck. Um, I don't know, and I can't recall the name of it. And I apologize for the background because I know that hurts my ears. So I know it probably hurts yours as well. We have the Seven of Pentacles, but the Seven of Pentacles look like it was in the reverse. And when I kind of said planting your seeds, that's what the Seven of Pentacles does. The Seven of Pentacles in the reverse is like, um, you know, um, you don't have a vision, a lack of long-term vision. At some point, you didn't feel like there was uh, anything that you planted. You will be able to see um, see it come into fruition. And so that is where it's like a lack of long-term vision and limited success is because you're talking yourself out of it. The cards that come out, um, we have the bottom of the deck. Uh, Knight of Swords, in the process of trusting in divine timing. You have to be tough, be ambitious, know what you want. Go after it in a single-minded determination. And so we have harmony here with the four of wands. We have the six of pentacles given to others wholeheartedly without expecting to receive the same yourself. We have we have the page of cups here, reflection, and we have the emperor. So for stability, the emperor energy, let's just talk about it. The emperor is about respecting yourself. The four of wands energy is about having peace and happiness and harmony, but also it could be home. It could be a lot of those things, but whatever it is, you're doing it with ease because at some point you felt the need to kind of doubt the what you planted and the page of cups energy just kind of lets you know that you know there is you nothing comes to a dream a dreamer but a dream so you have to actually get out there take action and also um continue to follow your dreams and you know in the process of everything else you know there's going to be a lot that happens once you realize the growth that you you've um overcome and came apart came came the growth that you've had and the growth that uh, it took for you to get to this point, you have to be able to understand that the only thing that is left for you to do is to look at your reflection, understand what it is that you wanted, and then also be able to, un you know, to respect yourself enough to go after it. And so that's where the emperor energy is. The emperor energy also could, you know, when it comes to you having structure and, you know, um, you being able to kind of... Um, uh, what is it, uh, build a foundation and, you know, do everything it is that you want, you have to be able to see the vision. And so the vision for you, you're giving to others so heartily without expecting to receive the same yourself, Six of Pentacles energy, because this is what you want in the long run. You want to be able to give and at the end of the day, be able to live long and be able to receive uh, uh, something in return, uh, reciprocated energy that you've given which means just love. You want to be able to have love. You want to be able to grow old with a person. You want to be able to do things with ease. And 
that is a part of your passions, the way that you love, the way you want to be loved. That's the way I see things. And the Page of Cups energy could be new opportunities, but it also could be when it, it gets to the point that you're kind of psyching yourself out um, um, because of, uh, what is it? Because of the of what you or who or what you love, you know, and you're using that the who or what you love to make excuses about why you're not going after your passions. And the again, the seven of pentacles just being in the reverse just lets you know the same thing. You have to be able to see the vision, but at some point you're not look you're looking towards the future and it's causing anxiety. So you're okay with not going after the things that you need or that you want and that you dreamt about. And because the the long goal is for you to have your cake and eat it too, to grow old with someone. But at some point you have to be able to get to the point to where you're doing this with ease and it's not um, causing you to second guess yourself, you know? And so that's the support that you want, that stability that you want, that peace, happiness, and harmonious energy is that what you want, but you have to find that within yourself. You cannot wait for, you cannot wait for someone to show it to you or to make you feel good about a certain situation or about something that you're passionate about because nine times out of 10, what you're passionate about, no one is, no one else is. And it's a hard pill to swallow when you would think that somebody would just know what it is that you want and be able to support you, but that's not the case. So I'm going to pull tarot to clarify the seven of pentacles in the reverse, the four of wands and the six of pentacles, page of cups and emperor. Now this could be somebody else's energy or it could be your energy, just looking at things from a different perspective, but you have to be able to understand what it is that you're going uh, after and know that the only thing that you can do with this energy is to move forward. And sometimes it's easier said than done, but at the same point, you have to understand that the only way it's going to get done is if you say it and do it. And that is kind of how I see that. So the seven of pentacles is like, no matter what you see in the future or what you cannot see. Yeah. Six of seven of pentacles comes out to clarify the seven of pentacles, no matter what you see or feel for the future. Look at that. This is everything that you plan it, right? Six of pentacles or uh, seven, seven of pentacles, uh, everything that you plan it, you're just kind of waiting you're waiting for it to happen. You're waiting, but you had to pull your energy back for pinnacles. You had to look at the way that you've done things in the past and realize that it's okay. Time will tell what's going to be. You cannot change what's going to happen. You cannot, you know, the outlook that you have in regards to this situation, you don't know what it's going to be, but as long as you're at peace in this present moment, and as long as you know that you've given to others wholeheartedly without expecting to receive the same yourself, as long as you know these things and you know that you're doing this for stability, you're doing this um, to respect yourself, then there's nothing else, to el else that you there is for you to do but to be tough, be ambitious, know what you want, go after it in a single-minded determination, and not to let anybody or anything stop you. And so that's just kind of how I see that energy. But again, you patiently have to wait. You cannot plant a seed and expect for it to grow overnight. Some things grow overnight. Some things, you know, die. And at the same point, some things are reborn. Um, what is that called when they, uh, 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 I was going to say geranium. When they come back, like when you plant, plant a plant and it dies off, but it comes back again the next year, I can't think of what it's called, but that's the, just basically what it is that you have to have faith in, the, the, the growing part, the, the being reborn, the, the being able to understand that, you know, things are going to happen, but, and you're going to do all of these things when it comes to you planting seeds, but sometimes things aren't going to come out the way they want to. Some things are going to come out the way you want them to, but at, for the most part, the thing is um, what you have to understand is that you did it. It's time for you to move in the present moment and to understand that all you can do is is uh, send good healing energy towards that. And so pulling your energy back, you know, and, and trying to avoid a situation or not deal with the situation or go after a situation or go after your passions because you're not sure what it is that is going to happen is why you have... Um, anxiety is because you're worried about the things that you cannot change which is future endeavors and so um what i mean to say by that is that the past causes fear like i say all the time and the future causes anxiety you need to be in the present moment and understand that look at that that card just flew out like that understand that yeah here it is to a cup synergy the opportunities to love everything else um when it comes to partnerships mutual attractions 
un, 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 um, uh, what is it like, uh, undefined love. When it comes to those energies, uh, what you cannot control, the only thing you can do is move forward. And so now we're going to clarify the four of wands energy. Let's clarify the four of wands. Okay, this card tried to come out. I'll let it fall. The four of wands energy comes with the chariot. You got to move forward. 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 And sometimes it's easier said than done. But moving forward is giving you the energy to let you know, I got to keep going no matter if this works out or not. So just because I planted a seed here, I'm not going to sit and watch it grow. I'm going to plant the seed, move forward, know that I'm going after the passions that I want and, um, and go from there, you know. And so that's where the peace, happiness, and harmonious energy is, is that you've done the work and now it's time for you to move forward and work on the next project. And that comes with the Six of Pentacles energy is what we're clarifying now. You have to work on the next project. You have to keep going. Six of Pentacles given to others wholeheartedly without expecting to receive the same yourself. Um, the thing is, is that if this is higher for an energy, yeah, changing your belief system, changing how you see things, changing how you do things, how you were learn, unlearn to be, how you were taught, sorry, unlearning to relearn. Because basically, if you sit up here and wait for this to plant, grow, what if you stop moving and nothing else grows from this? You have to keep creating, recreating the wheel, not just going with the flow. And that's what the universe to me is trying to let you know that you keep doing things with ease is, is not a problem with you, but actually letting it grow and um, seeing the fruits of your labor is where you get the anxiety and then you start to um, get scared and, and stay stagnant, if that makes sense. And so no matter what this situation is when it comes to love, the only thing that you, a love or a situation, a new situation, new love, whatever you want to call it, whatever it comes to this situation, the only thing you can do is move forward. Page of Cups is what I'm going to uh, clarify. The card came out, which is the magician. Yeah, Page of Cups energy is like, your creativity, the things that you do, the things that you see, the ones, the ideas that you come across, um, the happier that you are, the going after your dreams, you have to be able to manifest that. No one else can manifest those things because nobody else feels the way you feel about certain energies, you know, or certain things. Nobody feels that way. The only person that feels that way is, uh, is you. And if you feel like, or, or you can find people who are of like kind and of like mind that are looking in the same direction as you. That's why they tell a lot of entrepreneurs, go around the people that you, go around the people who see the things the way, that want to do the same thing or, or see things the way you see them or um, want to do the things that you're doing or are doing the things that you're doing is because of the fact that the only person that will be able to see your dreams is somebody that has like-minded dreams. You know, your partners, your boyfriend, your fiance, girlfriends, teachers, whatever it is, they're not, they don't have those same ambitious sisters, brothers, mothers, family. They don't have those same dreams and goals that you have. You know, they might think that you're crazy. Again, I always reference Belle from Beauty and the Beast because she liked books. She said, I, um, you know, she likes the books. She likes to, you know, imagine things and knowing that it's something better out there for her. And so she's not going to let anything stop her from having the things that she really wants. And so that's the thing that when it comes to, your dreams, your endeavors. You can't care about how somebody else feels. You just have to find like-minded individuals. And sometimes when you find those like-minded individuals, what ends up happening is that you start all the way over. And then you start to feel guilty because people really understand you and the people that you left, uh, left behind d didn't understand you, but you gave them the most attention. And you're just like, it's always been here. It's always been here. And I've, it's been right underneath my... Um, it's been right underneath my, my nose and I couldn't even see it. And so that is where it comes to a point that you have to understand that the only thing you can do is just keep moving forward, planting the seeds, finding people who complete you and not deplete you. And that doesn't mean leave everybody that you're around. That means that certain things you can't have discussions with certain things. You have to just move forward in silence because silence is a virtue. And that's just how I feel. But the emperor energy you have to respect yourself enough to be able to do that. The stability comes when you respect yourself enough. You think about it. You look at those people. Yep, ten of, uh, two of swords energy. Yeah, you have to make a decision if you're going to respect yourself when it comes to Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, and this is why the Six of Pentacles come out. 
a loving family is one of the greatest blessings in life. Protect and care for them no matter what. The Queen of Pentacles, no matter what, like JDS Tarot said a while back, that the Queen of Pentacles can be toxic to herself because she will give, 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 do, 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 give her last and keep recreating the wheel, but to where she's being used and abused, not hopefully, uh, um, you know, not, hopefully not seriously abused, but um, I'm saying mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, she's being used and abused, he or she, and that is when all of a sudden you feel you understand and, and realize that you're being used and abused and then you you want to get into your queen of swords bag and be tough you know um the queen of swords says uh stand up for yourself always speak your mind and don't take shit from anyone well that don't take shit from anyone is when you get into that um sour patch kid um uh, bag and you just start spazzing out on everyone and that's because in the beginning, if you were in the queen of uh, swords energy in the upright, you would have clear boundaries, you know, and that's what we learn. We unlearn to relearn, and that's the hierophant energy, you know. Hierophant energy is also, you know, you either obeying to um, certain situations or you're learning. You're teaching people how you want to be treated, and that's what we learn in the, in the future, or that's what we learn in the present moment is that we're going to teach people how we don't want our boundaries crossed, how we want to be treated and say the things that we mean. And we're not going to feel bad about doing that. We're just going to know that this is the only way that people will respect us. And to the people that don't, they have to stay behind, if that makes sense. So that's just kind of how I see that. Um, I'm going to pull from this deck. This is the, uh, um, it's not the archetype deck. This is the energies. I can't think of it. Like the type of energies that you have been around, you know, and what you had to learn from them. Um, and I can't think of what it's called, but anyway, um, yeah, I just believe that that's the thing. Yeah. Projecting energy. So seeing potential in people, this is the energies that you were in, in the past, seeing potential and then thoughtless, you were around thoughtless people. You know, it says, don't con consider the possible consequences, inconsiderable, insensitive, and unmindful people is who you've been around. It says, think about the impact of your actions and everything you touch will prosper it is your life, not your world. So this is all about you. So being around thoughtless people has taught you how to understand who they are, understand them for who they are. Does that make sense? And so uh, they're inconsiderate, they're insensitive, and they're unmindful. But it says, think about how, excuse me, how, think about the impact of your actions and everything you touch will prosper. So again, your passions, the things that you planted, all of those things will prosper. And who's to say if this is something that you want, if this is an energy that you want, you know, you know who will come back around when you least suspect it. Maybe 30 years from now, maybe 10 years from now, maybe next year. Who's to say? But the thing is, is that they'll realize. And I watched something the other day when it says, you know, it says, why does your ex always come back? And it says your ex comes back because they realize that they'll never get that same treatment and attention that you've given them from the people that they've been searching for it from or that they come encounter with and so they come back to you so the only thing you can do is make and set clear boundaries and decide if this is something that you want or don't want there's no room for what ifs there's because what ifs are like anxiety for the future well what if this happens well the future does not show you what's going to happen because i can't tell the future I can look at the cards and see what I see, but I can't tell the future. I'm not going to lie to you and tell you that I can. I'm just going to tell you that what I feel in my heart and what I feel by looking at the things that's in front of me are basically what, you know, comes out or what I, I, I pull apart from the situation. So that's just kind of how I see that. So because the Queen of Pentacles came out and the Six of Pentacles, you have, you have no issues with money. Now, do you have issues with saving money maybe do you have issues with giving your money away to people who don't deserve it maybe but um we're gonna pull from the uh money coming from where the money is coming from okay so first of all slow uh i'll read them all but i'll read the titles it says slow making slow progress but you're getting there so slow and steady wins the race and that's where the timing is don't rush the timing unexpected is here angelic help so you're asking your angels investments you're learning how to invest 
planner is here. So you're planning to invest. You're planning not to fail. That's what it is. And the retail is here. Um, jo odd jobs. So you're taking on odd jobs. And then it says uh, offerings. And then it says the past. So the past says something from the past is coming back, perhaps an old job or an uh, unfinished project. So again, this is where you have to realize, like I said to you, it'll come back. You know, this person will come back. But angelic help, it says this is the time to trust in the universe, trust in divine timing, and know you will be provided for. And this is where the growth comes in at. It's no need for, um, there's no need for, uh, um, what is it, uh, panicking or projecting. I didn't even read the projecting, so I'll, I'll read that in a minute. But unexpected, prepare for unexpected financial loss. And so this is where you were in the past. You were going through this and this is why I said to you giving everything out so again this is why you're pulling your energy back because you're when you get to the point to where you what it, I, I heard something the other day fast money brings slow problems fast money brings slow problems and this is what this person will learn this person that you're dealing with this is what they'll learn fast money nice things all that facade type stuff it brings slow problems. It brings financial problems. But when you understand that slow and steady uh, uh, wins the race, you will continue to plant seeds and keep planting and planting seeds all over until you turn around and one of those seeds comes to um, um, sprout. And then what happens from there? You're successful. You'll be able to see and know and tell the story of, like that, like, and I like the game of life and how to play it by Florence Scovel Shin. Um, when she says, tell, you know, when she, when, when she manifests things for somebody and they always tell them to tell the story to her people, tell this story about the lady who came that only had $8 to her name or tell this story about the man who, you know, asked for this, uh, financial blessing, you know, and she's telling the story. So you'll be able to tell the story because the unexpected things happen in order for you to look at things in a different light. It says, this financial crisis may be out of your control, but you can still control the outcome. Deal with things ahead of and try to prepare for the unexpected before it all happens. And that is right there in that small writing. And that's exactly what it looks like in my eyes. Okay, not that bad, but it looks like that. But anyway, and this is where you learn when it comes to not not um uh what is it uh speak in lack i i say that to my mom all the time don't talk to me if you're gonna speak lack you know don't don't talk to me uh if you're gonna say i i can't do i, I do, i'll do everything that i can I, I need to do you know and that's just where i am and i'll do it and i'll figure it out down the line you know i know my worth and i know what i'm capable of and i don't let anybody tell me about the odd jobs that i do the shopping that i do <laughs> You know, because it all turns around and I have a choice, you know, so I'll read odd jobs. So unexpected again, the unexpected is somebody coming up from the past. And so I'll put that over here because the angelic help says it says, pay attention to the signs your angels send uh, send you during this time. There is a career or a blessing lining up for you. So stay positive and believe. And I didn't even know that said that, but that's where it goes to this part of living in lack you know, believe in yourself. So the retail and odd jobs, odd jobs says consider creating multiple streams of income, right? And it says second jobs at, at, at jobs, freedom is more important than financial security. So this is why I say that other person felt like, um, the finances were everything when it came to dealing with, um, you know, things in life that, that material type thing and all the odd jobs and all the odd things that you were doing, Again, people might not believe in them, but you just continue to do those. Again, seven of pentacles, you could have seven different streams of income. I was watching um, the other day. I don't know if it was a commercial or it was something, but Jason Derulo, he says he has 13 streams of income. And he, and he, and you never see him settle down. Then I watched something about, um, what is Rob, Rob, Big, remember Big Rob or whatever? He has 365 he tapes 365 shows ahead of time. Um, and, and, and trust me, I'm not perfect with this, but just to say he tapes 365 shows uh, ahead of time for the year. 
within a four month span. He's always going to be prepared. Always. If you think of like that, so that prepared mindset is you seven set in pinnacles out planting the seeds and knowing that no matter what somebody else says, somebody can say, you're crazy. You, you work hard these four months when you could just work one day every week. No, the game is to work smarter, not harder. And that's what you have to learn. You have to work smarter, not harder. You have to plant the seeds. You have to not let anybody tell you that what you want is impossible or the love that you want is impossible or the job that you want or the, 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 the land that you want, the, the car that you want. You can't let anybody tell you that it's not possible. And it says sometimes it's okay to take a transitioning job even if it doesn't lead to a career. And that's on the odd jobs. And so that's something that you need to understand when it comes to that. Remember, I got to read this. I got to read that one. Retail. It says, if you have an idea uh, in mind that's giving you a green light, that's that's there. No, wait, a green light. That there is a need for it. That there is a need for it. So retail, maybe video games, maybe a laundromat, maybe something, you know, whatever it is. Maybe it's something out there that you, you know, you deem to be uh, uh, your passion. And now here it is. It's your time. It's your time to shine. That was on one of the story bots my grandbaby used to watch when she was like one. It's your time to shine. You know what I mean? And so it says consider careers in retail or e-commerce, whether it's good, whether it's goods or services. It says save time and energy and add positive income taking your business online. So again, could be doing an online business. So these are all the things that you have to understand. This is about manifesting, manifesting and going after what you see could be your dreams. You see, he's, he, there's a reflection there. So it's all about, remember the magician came out. It's all about manifesting, but it's all about believing in yourself. So then it says offering, it says the universe will meet you Meet all your needs. The universe will meet all your needs. So trust in divine time. And slow and steady wins, wins the race. Consider having a money offer. Alter. Oh, no, that's a money altar. I can't really see that. That's exactly how I see it because it's kind of gold. Or maybe my eyes just messed up. Can y'all see? Is it blurry to y'all? But anyway, it says call upon a spirit, your spirit guides and angels to assist you during this time. Yeah, trust in divine timing and call for help if that's what you need. And then it says planner. It's rather, what does it say? It's plan to save or pl fail to plan. Plan to fail or fail to plan. Plan to, plan to win or plan. I can't remember what it is, but if you know, put it in the comments. Planner, take financial inventory and see what needs changing. It says event planning project manager and a professional organizer. It says it's crucial that you make a plan to, to make sure each day counts to make sure each day counts so again that's what you need to understand your passions doing ease and the growth that you need to have but then it has investments here it says finances are looking good and growing it says this is a great time to invest set a strong foundation and you will see the fruits of your labor and so you set a strong foundation plant the seeds right what is it? Where's the emperor at? Emperor is here. Respect yourself. The strong foundation. This is all what it's about. Respecting yourself. And it says, um, and you will succeed. And then I think I did offering already. Yeah, I did offering. But the projection, projecting shadow potential, potential or same thing. It says projecting traits or emotions onto others. Projecting traits or emotions onto others. This is you seeing potential in a situation that never really had that same that potential. You saw traits, you saw things about a person that made you feel like, oh, this could be us. But in actuality, they weren't ready for that. You saw the potential and you saw the future before it happened, which could happen. Remember, it could happen. You can manifest the things that you want. They can come back around down the line and say, um, you got dough and change. Or, I, you know, that wasn't, you know, you gave so much to me. And you taught me a lot. You know, that's what the higher friend energy is. And Six of Pentacles gave so much. And this is, you know, normally the Six of Pentacles is childhood, nostalgia, memories. But the memories are that this person is coming back and offering them something at this point. Does that make sense? And that's growth. It could take today, could be tomorrow. 
But it says mirroring, self-defensive, and it says self-justification is the type of energy. So this is a mirroring type twin flame energy. I don't know. Determine when you are projecting and who's projecting onto you to avoid getting sucked into a cycle of negativity. Because this is where it starts, like I said to you. It starts when you become irritated because somebody takes your kindness for weakness. You get into your queen of swords in the reverse, which is you become cold-hearted, overly emotional than normal, right? And easily influenced because meaning that if somebody says something to you, you just snap. But again, if you were in your queen of swords in the upright, which is what we have to learn to be, you would be unbiased. You would have an unbiased judgment like, okay, well, we're just not on the same page. Clear, direct. We just don't see eye to eye, eye to eye. Respectfully. Okay. Clear boundaries. I said no. No. And very direct. If you were in that part, which is what we're learning and learning to respect yourself, right? You're going to be in your emperor energy. And that's where the stability comes in at. It's no more pushover season. It's no more room for, oh, it's okay. I, I thought you knew better. No, you're going to make them treat you and get to, uh, to know why it is that they should know better. But you're going to let them understand that my my highway, my, I mean, my, my stuff or the highway, you know, my rules or, you know, it's just none. And it's not to be selfish. It's not to say, oh, okay, well, this is um, something that, you know, you you have to do. You don't have to do it. They don't have to do it. But they have to get out of your space. And that is where you learn boundaries. And not to be overly, you know, like to let them get you, get to the best of you, you know, not to get the best of you. And so that's how I see that. Return, second chance opportunities and making amends. So somebody's going to want to make amends with you. Bottom of the deck is time. Waiting cycles and moments. Slow and steady runs the race. You win. But are you doing this to win? No. You're doing this to teach these people lessons that you have worried so much about the time that you would have with this person and the time that you want with this person that you realize that Fast things bring slow problems. Fast money brings slow problem, problems. Fast relationships bring slow problems. And only time will tell. So somebody wants to make amends with you. And it's fine with you because you have nothing to worry about. Because you're going after the passions. You're going after the things that you want. You're doing it with ease. You're happy. You're not thoughtless. You're not dealing with any thoughtless energies. You're in your Queen of Pentacles bag. And the Queen of Pentacles bag is right now you're in the reverse section. The, the, the upright showed its face. Because, again, you realize the things that you were going through. But. Again, the Queen of Pentacles in the upright is nurturing, practical, and providing financially. You know, it's nurturing, practical, and providing financially. That's the Queen of Pentacles in the upright. And in the reverse is financial independence, self-care, and conflicts. And so that is what you need to understand. All right. Well, let's pull from the four agreements and the crystal deck. And then let's let this energy go. So the crystal deck is be impeccable with your words. Say what you want, mean what you say. Very direct. Enjoy heaven on earth. It says impeccability of the word can lead you to personal freedom, success, and abundance. You can attain the free, the kingdom of heaven from this one agreement. Be impeccable with your word. Say what you want, mean what you say. If you want to know my perspective of the four agreements and also the chakras, click the link above. And the spodamine is the crown chakra. Inspiration, clarity, and peace. It says, through meditation, I am filled with divine peace. 
Through meditation, I am filled with divine peace. And that is where you are. Now let's let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys. Bye-bye.